Welcome to Talmud Brilliant, where we talk about how our minds and how the Talmud mind works. On what basis does your mind or the Talmud prove or disprove stuff? A zillion times a day we are deciding stuff. You're making decisions about what outfit to wear today, what to eat for breakfast, who to vote for. How did the car really get scratched? In the disagreement yesterday, whose viewpoint was really right? Should we spend the money for that vacation? The list can go literally on and on without end. We are deciding all the time. It's one of the big things our minds are doing. What do we draw upon to make our minds decision? My name is Rabbi Jeremy Fenster, and I'm the founder of the Ramchal Talmud Academy and the creator of Talmud Brilliant. I love the fact that the world began to use the image or metaphor of the cloud for stored information. The cloud gives the image of a massive data bank, much bigger than ourselves, from which we can pull down no knowledge upon need. There is always easy access. Let's use that same image of the cloud to explain on what basis our minds, your mind, my mind, makes decisions. Every individual has his own cloud that they carry around inside their minds, their brains. That's not, e and that's not to say that our, everyone's head is always in the clouds. We all have a data bank of stored information accepted knowledge of accepted truths that we draw upon to make our decisions. There are three types. It's one of the things I want to tell you today. There are three types of these accepted knowledges and truths in our clouds. Your cloud, my cloud, and in the Talmud's clouds. In the Talmud, they have the same three groupings. <clears throat> Let's go through them. The first type of these knowledge and truths that are in our clouds, the first type. Knowledge and truths that we know from, with, from within ourselves, like things that our senses see, feel, smell, touch, and hear. Or truths that we have from our own experiences. Or truths that come from the natural workings of our mind, like Nothing happens without a cause that makes it happen. All of these we know, we know and accept them without ever being taught. There was no education involved. If you saw something, you know you saw it. And you know what you saw to be true. You draw upon that knowledge from your cloud to draw other conclusions and make other decisions. That was the first type. Let's go to the second type. This is knowledges and truths, again, that we all have in our cloud, that we know from outside ourselves, that we have agreed in our minds has, that they have validity. For example, communal norms, accepted ways of behaving or attitudes within our society, or what we accept from authority figures and experts, our legal system, our social contract, also included here is our religious teachings. These are knowledges and truths outside of ourselves that we had to be educated about and we had to agree to accept them. For the Talmud, these truths in this category, in this type, are the words of the Torah, the Chumash, and the Mishnah. The third type of truths. There are knowledges and truths that they extend from the first two groupings. We take one of the first groupings and we extend it. We apply it. When done in a logical manner, we accept the extension also as true. I had this one. Here's a fun one to try out. Newton's first law. It is an object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon. 
Now that's something that he either gained from experience or figured out. It's probably from the first category. So now when a, when a mother says to the kids, when they're all sitting at dinner, she says something like this. If no one goes and gets the salad, it's not going to make it to this dining room table. She has extended Newton's law to this specific case with that logical extension or bridge. That would be from the third category. The Talmud will pull its proofs from all three of these groupings. Question, interesting question. Is there a priority among these types? Meaning that it, would it be better, is it better to pull a proof from one grouping over the other two? Now that's a very interesting question of priority, which we will discuss actually in further videos. One last thing, let's talk about the application of the truths and knowledge for a moment and we'll end with this. There are two ways to apply the info in your cloud or the, how the Talmud applies the information and the truths from their cloud. When an idea or statement you want to prove can be aligned with a piece from your cloud and a piece of accepted truths already in your mind, so that functions, that that's in your mind functions as a proof. And your mind will accept the idea under question as true. Alternatively, when the ideal statement is in conflict with a piece of accepted truths or knowledge already in your mind, then that will prove to your thinking, your mind, that the statement under question is false. Before we close for the day, a, a quick review. We make decisions based on a cloud, our cloud, of accepted knowledge and truths. An idea or statement that aligns with our truths, we decide is true. An idea that aligns against our truths, our cloud, we decide is false. Thanks for watching today. Please leave a comment or questions below. Let me hear from you. Check out our website, which is the hub for all this mind and Talmud trading. Remember, your thinking has structure. Thank you very much. Bye.